Welcome to another Short Treks episode. I wanted to share with you a beautiful place I visited last week, the State Arboretum of Virginia. But I'm not going to just give you a slideshow today because I also wanted to share with you some tips on composition while I go through the images. All right, let's start with this shot here. This is the straight out of camera raw image. And when I was in the field, it was really a beautiful scene, but I wasn't really quite sure how to compose it. So I just went with a simple uh, symmetry and leading lines and repeating patterns of the trees there. You know, I just put all these elements together in my head and took this shot and I, I made sure to take it a little bit wider because again, I wasn't really sure what would look good for a scene like this. And I shoot wider a lot of times because I know I can always crop in a little in post-processing or do any kind of horizon corrections or keystoning errors, you know, and correct for that. Uh, so it's, it's always a good idea when you're in the field, if you're not sure exactly about the composition, just shoot a little bit wider than you can always crop in. And that's what I'm going to do here because this picture is still not balanced. Even if I want to do symmetry, you know, the bottom or the front with all the grass is a little bit heavy in the scene. And what I like to do usually is just, just bring up a simple rule of thirds grid and, uh, and then just start cropping in. And I'm going to make sure that the sun is still right in the center based on this marker here. And I might need to do a little bit of tilt like so. And that's, that's looking a lot better. Now I have like one third here in the bottom is grass. One third in the middle here is the row of trees or tree line. And then at the top, I have the sun. So let me bring it down just a little bit like so. And I think that looks pretty good. Now, one other thing I, I always like to get rid of is any kind of gaps on the left and right, because these are a little bit uneven. I'm just going to crop in a little bit tighter to bring that in. Bring the sun more up into the top thirds and the grass here for the top thirds. And I think um, that looks pretty good. And that's my final composition. And then here is the final edit. Now here's another straight out of camera raw. And as you can see, I was going for a starburst. Uh, and the way you do that in camera is you just stop your lens all the way down to F22 and then compose your shot and take a picture. And you wanna try and have the light peaking like between branches in this case, or maybe over a building or over a person's shoulder. Uh, that helps sort of emphasize that starburst effect when you do that. Now, compositionally, um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I like the way the light's coming in from the top left and bleeding down to the bottom right. But let's see if we can just do a little bit better. So I'm gonna bring up my rule of thirds and this is showing me that I have about two thirds down here. Bottom is all grass. And then the top thirds is uh, just the tree line in the sun. And that's not too bad, but I'd like to do maybe a little more because rule of thirds doesn't seem to really apply here quite as much. Uh, because in the last shot, you know, I thought there was too much grass, but in this shot, I really like how the light is bleeding down from the top left to the bottom right. So I'm going to keep that along with all of these leaves. So I'm going to bring up another composition tool here in Lightroom. And I think I'll use this. This one seems to fit pretty well. Uh, but I want to get the sun as close as I can inside of this little circle here. So I'm going to crop in from this corner maybe to about right there because I don't want to lose the light on the ground here. I'm going to keep all of this inside of this little loop. And the sun is, is really close enough, I think, to the center. And I think that looks good right there. So here is the final image with edits. All right, now for this shot, I just put the camera down on the ground and set the camera for F8 because I wanted to make sure I had enough of the leaves in the foreground in focus, but I didn't want to blur out the background completely uh, because if I had set this, say, at F2.8, uh, the background would have been blurred too much and you wouldn't be able to see the trees that were actually leaving the leaves on the ground, so you're missing part of the story if you blur out the trees. At least that's what I was thinking at the time. 
uh, because I did take a shot at f2.8 and I'll show you what that looks like and this is yeah it's an okay shot but again you really can't see the leaves in the back or the trees in the background they're just kind of yellow blobs so I decided to go with uh, this shot here and with this one um, we're pretty close to the final composition so let's just bring up the rule of thirds and uh, just crop in a little bit so that we get the bottom thirds of just mostly the leaves here and then the top two thirds will uh, keep the tree line and I like how this blade of grass it gives a little bit of uh, perspective and it's also framing the shot to some degree now I'm going to center the shot to this tree right here and the horizon is a little bit crooked so let me go ahead and straighten that out and I'll just straighten it right along the tree I need to move it over slightly it looks like yeah I think that'll work right there Now if we look at this picture, it's using a very obvious composition technique and that's called the frame within a frame. And I almost didn't include this picture in this series because if you look within the frame, the subject are these evergreen trees, which is not the trees I came to photograph. But I thought it created sort of a nice contrast against all of the warm yellow colors we've seen up to this point thereby kind of resetting your eyes so you can kind of appreciate the colors as we go on through the rest of the images. Now I think all I need to do with this image is just crop a little bit because I'm just going to let the framing do all the work. Uh, and here along the sides, over on the trees, you know, like I said before, I don't like these gaps. So I'm just going to crop in to get rid of those on that side and then on the right side so that we just have the trees filling uh, the left and right sides and then let me just come down maybe right about there and I don't need to use the rule of thirds or any other kind of composition lines I'll just straighten a little bit and I'll just let the framing do all the work Now the next two shots apply the simplest rule of composition and that is to fill the frame with the subject. Because up until now we've done the wide angle shot and applied the rule of thirds and then we did the starburst RT shot and applied the Fibonacci spiral and then that last shot was a down low perspective shot, rule of thirds with some framing. For this shot I wanted to get an up high view with the tree branches creating their own natural leading lines into the frame. And you'll also notice the complementary colors between the blue sky and the yellow leaves create a natural separation of the subject. And this is the only shot that has all the leaves in focus so you can really see how beautiful these trees are as if you were looking at them with your own eyes. And finally, this close-up shot here, I wanted you to see the fine details of the individual leaves, their unique shape and color, because really it's been the main ingredient in all of the pictures I took that day, and I thought it'd be a nice way to end the series of my visit. So that's the end of my trip to the State Arboretum of Virginia, and I just want to take a moment to thank David Crooks, the head of our local photography club here in Virginia, and also thank uh, Robin Wong for his video on mini projects uh, to help me organize this series of photos uh, for this video. And of course, to all of you for watching my video today. Uh, I really appreciate it. I hope you found it helpful and hopefully we'll see you again soon.